I mean, speaking of the military, artificial intelligence has become not just a consumer priority, but a major defense priority, guiding robotic bomb squads, drones, and uh, many other issues. The AI race has become so competitive, the U.S. and China are in a steel cage death match to take the lead in ideas and patents. So you're looking at some of the stocks that are involved in AI, in artificial intelligence, and who will be present tomorrow as it all comes to a head in Washington, D.C. The White House hosting this summit on the future of artificial intelligence, and right now we've nabbed one of the invitees who will be there, Ed McLaughlin. He's MasterCard's operations and technology president. Uh, Ed, talking about artificial intelligence, there is a massive patent race going on. Obviously, from, you, from the battlefield to the business world, we want to be head-to-head, -head, do we not? And how do we do that? I think artificial intelligence is an incredible emerging field that we have. And it's one of those times in technology where we can bring a whole lot of new capabilities and a whole lot of new benefit can be generated from it. So I don't think there's a company, an industry, a country which isn't interested in advancing artificial intelligence right now. When you hear reports that uh, uh, some of these at least new efforts, like Facebook had one that where they, the, the AI, the AI robots started speaking to each other in a language that uh, the actual creators of the program could not understand. Uh, we have to look at this carefully, do we not? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's like any new technology. I think one of the reasons why we're having the summit is to bring together thought leaders really from around a variety of industries. It's not just technology companies like a MasterCard or a Amazon or mm -hmm. Microsoft, but healthcare, manufacturing, uh, automotive, uh, any num uh, financial services, any number of industries. And what we really want to do is one, really get an understanding of where AI is today, a, a grounding on what the technology is and what it's actually doing, and then talk about the real implications, the business implications of what we can do. Because this can be a true foundation for a whole new wave of innovation, a whole new wave of economic growth and development. So we really want to make sure that it's understood and that we can think about how we can apply it, not mm -hmm. only to advance the economically, but also in things like government services. The Chinese are uh, ahead of us this year in filing for AI patents. Uh, the U.S. would want to win this race, right? But you have the White House Office of Science and Technology reporting that the White House spent I believe it was about $2 billion last year on AI and development. Is that enough? Do we need that to grow? It sounds, it sounds rather small. I'm not sure, though. Well, two elements. One, patents, the number of patents doesn't necessarily correlate to the value of what's being patented. So I'm always leery of just looking at a raw count of patent numbers. There is some amazing, some profoundly good research which is happening in the U.S. around artificial intelligence. And as far as the direct investment, when I think of it from a MasterCard standpoint, AI is becoming part of everything we're doing. Okay, I but how? What, are you, what are you guys at MasterCard doing with it? Two quick examples. Uh, one, in our network itself, we're applying artificial intelligence to look at every transaction that flows through. And we can detect fraud patterns that we've never seen before and are able to intervene in real time and stop that from happening. Huh? So we have literally been able to prevent billions of dollars of fraud uh, helping all the all the citizens that, that are that are using it, all the merchants that are on it, the financial institutions, by being able to have more intelligence built into the network. So moving from simple rules based on what you've seen before to reacting to things that are happening in real time, that's one of the potentials. Uh, Another great example: we yeah. have a company called uh, New Data that just became part of Mastercard. It's getting easier for fraudsters at times to emulate who you are. What this does is it looks at how you use your devices, how you use your mobile, which hand you hold it in, how you type, the speed you type. And it constantly learns and understands who you are so we can be to much sure. more certain that we're dealing with you. And it's that type of learning and intelligence which has incredible real-world applications that we're building into all of our products today. Elon Musk, who is a big thinker, he doesn't just run a car company yeah, or a absolutely. rocket ship company, he is really concerned about this. I personally have talked to Bill Gates about it. And when I asked mm -hmm. Bill Gates, what do you think of what Elon says is, is a real fear he has that, that our artificial intelligence will take over the world. Bill Gates, we were in Davos a couple of years ago. He sat there, thought yeah. about it. And then he looked at me and he said, Elon's not wrong. 
he's not wrong. How do we, how do we keep this in control? Because President Trump has, has been a guy who's gotten rid of a lot of regulation. Um, but he is also mm -hmm. for appropriate regulation, we certainly hope. Um, does this need to be regulated? It sounds like it does. Well, I think like any new technology, we need to understand what it is and how it's being used. And there is a lot of public-private partnership. If you look at the Internet itself, that came from government, academia, business working together for how it evolves. And I think you'll see the same thing in AI. With any new technology, you have to look at the implications of what the technology can do. Okay. But what we shouldn't allow it to do is prevent us from taking advantages of the real benefits it can bring today. Hey, Ed, we're watching this, and then good stuff with, with MasterCard and what you are doing to prevent fraud. That drives me nuts. It's so much lost money, so we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah.